Alright guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the last component that the Formic library provides, which is the fast field component. Now this component is mainly meant for performance optimization. According to the documentation, it is probably worth considering this if your form has more than 30 fields or if there are fields with very complex validation requirements. There is a word of warning as well when it comes to the usage of this component. So in this video, we are going to just take a quick look at how fast field differs from the regular field component and I will leave it up to you guys to read up more on the implications of using the fast field component. To understand the difference between field and fast field, I'm simply going to add a console log statement in our address form field. So scroll down, we have our address form field. We're using the render props pattern as you can see, which will allow us to easily add the log statement. So console log field render. I'm also going to remove the log statement from this field array component. Now let's save the file and head to the browser to make our observation. On page load, you can see that the statement is logged twice in the console. But here's the thing. Let's say I start typing in the channel name. You can see the statement field render continues to get logged in the console. So what is happening is that the change in form state is causing all the fields in our form to re-render. So if you type in something in the channel field, it will cause our address field to re-render as well. Let's replace field with fast field and see what happens. So back in VS Code, at the top, import fast field from Formic. Then replace field with fast field for the address form control fast field and the closing tag as well. Let's save the file and head to the browser to see the difference. On page load, we have the statement logged twice again, which is no different from before. But if I start typing in the channel field, you can see that we don't see any new statements being logged. If you, however, change the value of the address field itself, you will see the log statements again. This is the difference between field and fast field component. Fast field is an optimized version of the field component which internally implements the should component update lifecycle method to block all additional re-renders unless there are direct updates to the fast field form control itself. So if you feel that a particular field is independent of all other fields in your form, then you can use the fast field component. Again, the documentation warns us to use it with caution. There are only a few conditions under which a fast field component will re-render. So be careful when using it. You can read more about that in the Formic docs. Well, that brings us to the end of the list of components that the Formic library provides. However, we still are not quite done with all the handy features of Formic. Let's wind this up in the next few videos. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.